What's up, Crack the fans? I'm going to today. I'm going to be flying my B303 Seeker. It's been a while since I've been able to fly. Uh, weather's been pretty pretty bad lately. So I got everything calibrated, ready to go. Wind's blowing in from the left. It's pretty strong. Um, I haven't taken this out in a while, but I've been having good flights with it every time I do. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, fire up the motors here. Actually, I'm going to trim it out. It looks like there's some old trim settings in there. And uh, the sound of the motors. I have a uh, Runcam HD on the bottom. You can see it's jumping around quite. It's jumping around quite a bit. You can probably hear the wind through the camera. Um, but it appears to be holding this position without any issue. It's drifting a little bit to the left. Uh, I did take off on pretty, pretty steady ground, but, you know, that would make sense with the way that the, the wind's blowing, so we'll trim it up a little bit and see if we can get it to, to stop, so, looks pretty good, so we'll fly it out here. It's got a little bit of a wobble to it, but... That wind is really, really blowing now, so just my luck once I get it out here, it starts blowing around. Uh, I did forget my, I forgot my case for the run cam. Um, usually I velcro it to the bottom as well as a velcro strap, but I uh, ended up forgetting the case with the velcro on there, so there might be a little bit more vibration than normal uh, with the video. Hopefully it won't affect it too bad. So we'll stay kind of low today. Not a lot of uh, room to fly. The park's pretty busy. But we'll see what kind of video we can get on board. And I don't want to make too many sudden movements because uh, the way that that camera's in there, it could potentially vibrate out. I don't want to lose the run cam. Uh, it is a great little camera if you're thinking about picking one up for an onboard cam. It's nice and flat so you know you can strap it to a lot of things and it's fairly light so it will fit on most uh, medium sized quadcopters even some smaller ones too. We're uh, cruising around here. Everything seems to be handling fine. We're not very high up right now. We can get a little bit higher up, but uh, with the way the wind's blowing, you can see it's trying to hold its position. And I mean, that's a very, very strong wind today. Uh, so I'm really happy with the way it's flying lately. Uh, I was having those issues, and I was hoping I'd be able to get a result, which finally it looks like I have. Handling well. Try to fly it out a little bit further now that we got somewhat of a break in the wind. But this thing cruises, man. We brought my F450 flame wheel knockoff to fly today too, as well. But uh, it looks like the battery's dead. I didn't charge it up. That's probably a, a good thing too, as well, because it, it doesn't. Why you have the auto leveling like the B303 and it's not GPS and on a, a very very windy day today it might give it some problems so it might not have been the worst thing in the world for the battery to be dead. So we're cruising it around going on a few minutes here just bringing it in side to side and rotating it around. I don't want to make too quick, too many quick movements like I was mentioning because I am missing uh, the Velcro on the run cam and we'll probably get a little bit more jello or vibration than expected because that Velcro isn't there to secure it. But uh, 
we're fairly far out, we're halfway across the baseball field and still have our salad green light, which is a good sign for a lot of people. They have the issue that I was experiencing earlier or they're uh, having that issue where they can't even uh, arm their motors. So I put my sticker on there with my FAA license now. So this uh, quadcopter will require it because of the weight. So uh, per the rules, they want you to put it in the battery bay, but it's a little bit hard to do or etch it in there. I was able to find a uh, label maker and sealed it right there on the bottom and it's on there pretty good so I don't think they'll be able to complain about that but the wind's dying down a little bit it is still blowing in pretty strong but nothing that the B303 can't handle we'll bring it back here and we'll do a little bit of a, a test to see if how well it will hold this position uh, with the wind blowing so that's with the wind blowing, no hands on the, the transmitter right there. It's uh, dead locked. Now I was able to take off from some very, very flat ground, which in the past has been an issue for me because there's very limited flat ground in the limited areas that I can fly, but on the baseball field on this morning track, uh, it's really, really flat. So we'll take it up a little bit higher since it is uh, doing so well in regards to holding this position. It's a little bit windier up there. There was some uh, breaks in the wind from all the uh, surrounding buildings and baseball fields down low. But uh, we're hovering nice and well. We'll get some aerial shots there. Hopefully that turns out pretty cool. And we'll start bringing it down. Now I bring mine down very, very slow. And in stages too because I have had it drop out and fall from the sky. I think it was more related to uh, the props than anything. But you can see it's, it's trying to overcompensate when the wind blows. And it'll get that jerk in there. And send in the signals to the motors. The ESCs from the light controller to tell it to compensate for the wind so but uh, overall very happy with the, the purchase of the B303 a lot of you have commented on some videos that are having trouble getting it off the ground um, if you are you know, make sure you're doing the start sequence make sure you're getting the Sally green light all your switches are flipped forward or in the off position calibrate your compass and make sure to arm your motors seems to be a lot of people are having issues with arming the motors and if you're still having an issue you know you might be having a, a, an issue with the transmitter talking to the to the quadcopter so you might want to check that out too as well generally if it's if the transmitter is not talking to the quadcopter then you will still get a green red flashing light but if you're getting solid greens then it would probably be more over a motor arming issue your trims might be out of whack to where it won't allow you to arm your motor uh, I've had the issue where I couldn't disarm my motors because my my trims were too high so make sure all your trims are or zero it out because that could be causing an issue so uh, man I'm just really impressed with this B303 it's flying super smooth no issues to report
All right, so that was the flight with the V303 Seeker. Uh, I was able to land it without any issues. Um, very, 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 very smooth flight today. Extremely impressed with it. Just circle around it with the camera here. To see, you can see the run cam underneath it. Um, 